Welcome! In this video tutorial, we'll cover how to create a filter in Excel. At the end of the session, you'll be able to filter out relevant data within a table effectively. Let's have a look. Hello and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank and together with the EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. To see how to create a filter in Excel, we'll use this table as an example. The first thing to do, if you want to use the filter function in a table, is to use headers to select the columns in which you want to apply the filter. Let's select the headers month, days and season now. Click on the Data tab and look for the group Sort and Filter. Then find and click on the Filter option. Excel will create these drop-down arrows or buttons in the cells containing the headers of the selected columns. You can use the buttons to filter out the information you need in each column. Now it's time to take a step forward and try out the filter we've just created in practice. Let's say we want to filter out only the summer months. Click on the drop-down arrow in the column Season. All of the options are selected by default. Unselect the options by clicking on Select All. Now, tick the box next to the option which we want to filter out, which is Summer. Confirm with OK, and you see that only the summer months are now displayed in the table. If you have a look at row numbers, you'll see that the rows with data for other months have not been deleted. They're only hidden. Look, there's row 2, and rows 8, 9, and 10 follow right after. Then the next row number you can see is 15. Now we can carry on. Imagine you need to do some more filtering. Let's say you want to filter out months that have 31 days only. We'll do what you're already familiar with. Click on the drop-down arrow in the column Days. Click on Select All, and once everything's been unselected, tick the box for only those months that have 31 days. So select 31. Click on OK, and here we go. We've used Filter to show only those summer months that have 31 days. Easy, right? You can follow these steps to filter out data in any table you need. To see how you can remove the filter from the table, watch the next video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the easy clickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.